breaking news alert. And Metro Police have confirmed to us that one person died in this crash on 65 North in the Madison area. So it was just after 2.30 this morning. Uh, it looks like a wrong way driver is at fault here as many reports came in. That is the view from the News 2 First Alert Unit. It's the area between Old Hickory Boulevard and you see the exit for uh, Vietnam Vets, 386 right there, and uh, Hendersonville Gallatin exit. So it is off limits at this point. We do not have an estimated time that it will reopen, but we do know that they have been investigating this now for going on near four hours, which is about the time it usually takes. So the interstate will remain closed. Traffic is backed up because of it. Nikel has been watching that impact. Hey, good morning, Neil. Yes, they're expecting this to be open by about 7 o'clock this morning. Crews are making some quick work to try to get that done, but it is still very much an active scene here right now. Let's take you to the TDOT Smart Rate camera show you this view here. This is uh, 65 and Briley Parkway. Look how much it's backed up right now. So essentially, they're taking all that 65 traffic, they're funneling it down to one lane, and then they're detouring people off at Old Hickory Boulevard to make your way over to Gallatin Pike, possibly and head up towards uh, Vietnam Vets and get back on at Rivergate Parkway. So definitely a lot of slowing, lots of congestion now on this part of I-65. Looks like southbound is just fine. Southbound lanes are wide open. Again, the northbound side is what takes you up towards, say, Goodlettsville, Millersville, up towards the Kentucky state line, Robertson County. So the lanes that take you over towards downtown Nashville, no impact at this hour. They might be a little bit slow going as they're passing by the immediate area of the, of the crash itself, but otherwise uh, looking okay. So again, this is between OHB and Vietnam Vets, 65 northbound between exit 92 and exit 96. You can see all the red here indicating the slowing going all the way down towards Briley Parkway. So some possible alternates using Highway 31W, that's over on the west side of the interstate, or using Gallatin Pike on the east side of the interstate to get back on uh, up towards Rivergate Parkway, get back on the interstate there. The rest of Metro Nashville looking okay traffic wise right now. Wide of Middle Tennessee looking okay as well. A little bit of slowing on I-24, but that's to be expected this time of the morning. But look at the drive times. They're also not looking too bad right now. Franklin to Nashville, 19 minutes. The same for Goodlessville into Nashville, Mount Juliet to Nashville, 17 minutes. And Laverne about 20 minutes on I-24.